Shalom, family trendsetter. All praises be to the Most High Power, Hashem, for allowing us to see another day. I do have a tendency to struggle for words when I speak, so please bear with me. Now in this eight and a half minute video, I want to talk about a couple of things. So I want you to pay uh, particular attention to the first part of this video. Now, about three and a half years ago, I made a video talking about Ancestry.com, um, uh, .com, I think that's what it's called, where you had a lot of people submitting their DNA to see what part of the world they're from. The question I have is this, what does it matter where you're from, nigga? All that matter is where you at today and where you wanna go. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because whether or not you was from Africa or not, you can't go there and say, hey, yeah, I'm home. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows you. Nobody even wants you there. So at the end of the day, I, don't, I never understood why people was trying to figure out what part of Africa. Now I know if you, you know, the practicality of, okay, well, you know, my ancestry came from this particular part of Africa. But that's what they tell you. They actually tested a fucking chihuahua. I kid you not. I made a video about that about two years ago. They tested a chihuahua. And, and and broke that the DNA um, marker down. <laughs> Chihuahua had how many percent of European and how many percent of fucking uh, African American. I mean, that's how deceptive this shit is. I made a video and people got offended by it because I was talking about Chihuahua. I don't understand why people get offended by it when I when you talk about animals and shit more than you talk about humans. But anyway, so. What I'm saying to you, it was all bullshit. It was just all a, a, a scheme to try to get your DNA. They want to see who the children of Yasharal is, who the children of Israel, the most I chosen people. Because, see, we're, mixed, um, we're, we're like a mixed multitude of people. And what they're doing, they're trying to eliminate. They're trying to see exactly who these special people are. Black people. We know white people are not special. Y'all are hybrids. Y'all came from us. You know what I'm saying? So... Now what they have done, they have devised a better plan. It's okay. Well, we couldn't get a lot of people to buy into it. This shit was too expensive. So now let's just create a false flag. Not saying this shit ain't happening, but a false flag basically is problem, reaction, and then find a solution. So this is a problem. They gave us this COVID-19, right? First, it started out in China. Then it came into Europe. Now it's in the Americas. And guess what? Unfortunately or fortunately for them, oh, it's only... Uh, uh, you know, the majority of, of, of people, victims and shit, right? Because that's what the fuck we are, is black people. We are the face of COVID-19 now here in the United States of America. Why? Because they're saying that because of our health is poor. We have a lot of underlying issues, which we do because a lot of y'all niggas like to eat crab, shrimp, and lobster, and pork. Y'all don't want to follow dietary law. You know, your pastor tell you, your punk ass pastor tell you, oh, you all you have to do is pray over it, right? Because the, the Peter Peter's vision um, he, uh, he didn't want to eat. Well, he, well, basically he didn't want to eat the food. And according to them, God, God told Peter to kill and eat. But remember in the old Testament, the most I already gave you the animals that you're supposed to kill and eat niggas. But because y'all the greedy motherfuckers, y'all want to eat, uh, uh, pig intestine, call it chitlins and shit. The worst part of the pig, the shit that they used to sell, uh, 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 sell to the slave, not sell to the slave, but sell to the slave. Yeah, right. Feed to the slave. This is what y'all want to eat to disrespect your ancestors. The, our ancestors would have loved to have. If they don't eat the damn swine, at least give us some bacon, right, or pork chop. But no, nah, they gave us y'all it. Well, y'all, I say us because we are our ancestors. But they gave our ancestors the worst part of the, of, of the swine, which is pig intestine. A lot of y'all niggas, every motherfucking 4th of July, talk about y'all want y'all chitlins. You know what I'm saying? This is how brainwashed and dumb y'all are. I know a lot of y'all going to be offended by it because you, you, your ass, you, yeah, you nigga, you probably eat the shit too, don't you? Yes, you do. You feel me? But anyway, the next plan is this, right? They're going to be pushing the testing, the testing, the testing. They need everybody to get tested. The testing, let me, let me ask you a question. If you get tested, right? If you follow the Romans and shit and you get tested, what is the test going to do for you? You're still going to be sick. You still might have to go to the hospital, you know, possibly not making out the motherfucker. So what, what does being tested mean? Tested means that they just want to know who the hell... Basically, when you submit your DNA, when you submit your blood, right, or the swab, they're using that swab and they're testing your DNA. They don't give a fuck about whether you have COVID or not. A lot of times you get tested, you don't have the shit, but they say you have the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to put you in a database, especially if they find out that you are special. Because you do have some white folks that are special, believe it or not, because, you know, you can't really judge 
the book by its cover. In most cases, you can, but we know they are hybrids and shit. But at the end of the day, family, you got to understand something. They're trying to collect your DNA. That's the plan. That's the master plan. They're trying to collect your DNA. And what's going to happen once they able to. And this is a worldwide thing. It's not just here in the United States of America. It's a worldwide thing. Like I, like I showed you on the first clip, it's going to be a one world government, a one world rulership. They're going to have one currency. They're going to come up. See, now that, now if you notice, right, you can't even go to school. You can't go to college. You can't go to your workplace. They're trying to keep you indoors. Everything is going to be virtual. Everything is going to be online. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make us get accustomed to, you know, just being situated, being indoors and shit. So now they're going to say, well, the only way you can go out, you have to take this medical uh, card with you, right? It's like a digital medical card. And the only way you can actually... Get this card because they're going to start out with a card first. Then the next thing is a microchip. But they're going to say, the only way we can get this card, we have to test you. We have to make sure that you're not COVID because it's going to be a second strain. A lot of y'all don't know that. It's going to be a second strain, but the second strain is going to be 10 times worse, if not 100 times worse than what it is now. And the fucked up part about it is that they ain't going to have the resources for the second round because the first round, they didn't have enough resources. You think they're going to have enough resources for the second round? This shit is depleted. So this this digital uh, medical credit card that you're going to have, right, this is what they're going to say you're going to need because they're going to say we have to do away with cash because cash transmit COVID-19. It might be COVID-20 fucking summertime or next year and shit, right? So they're going to say we have to do away with um, exchanging, you know, touching each other. So they're going to come with niggas. We're going to continue wearing our masks. That shit ain't going away for a minute. Right. You still got to wear your gloves. But what they're going to do, you're going to have to get fingerprinted. Right. And then they're going to know who the fuck had the COVID-19. And when they decide to roll out that vaccine. Right. That shit that's going to kill a lot of people. They're going after y'all niggas, the one that got tested and the one that actually succumbed to it. Because you got people going like this. I'm sure y'all seen it on Facebook. This shorty went to the hospital. Right. For this symptom saying she can't taste. Right. No smell, no taste. And automatically they assumed she had COVID-19. Gave a motherfucking paper saying she's COVID positive and she didn't do any tests. Why? Because she's a nigga. She's black. A nigga mean them black. That's what it means. Families don't get offended. OK. And she because she's black, they want to put her on that blacklist. That's what it is. So I'm telling you all before I go, family, do not. And I repeat, do not get tested. Getting tested ain't going to cure you. All you have to do, if you feel like you're coming down with something, just take some home remedy. Peel some orange peel, um, get some garlic, um, ginger, what else? Um, anything that you can get, put it in a motherfucking pot, boil that shit and steam your face every day and just take regular medication. Don't go to the hospital talking about you feel like you got COVID-19 or you got the coronavirus because they want you to come in that motherfucker because you're going to make it. You might you like the Roach Motel. You might go in that bitch, but you might not make it out. So I'm telling you, our family, stay clear away from the testing. It's a setup. They just want to get your DNA marker so they could come after the children of Israel. It's to find out who are the chosen people. That's exactly what this shit is for. And it's worldwide. Happy. Happening world.